Biz Biz back again. All right, so here's what it is. It's about 65, almost 70 degrees right now, so it's super comfortable outside right now. The ribs are primed and ready. Yes, yes. Let me let me show you. Yeah. So got my little tools and stuff here. I already cleaned off this, with that. So. Um, now, all I need to do is put this meaty meat, meat meat on there. So, let me put this closer. I'm sorry, I'm having horrible, just, oh, but look at this, look, look at this. This is going to be, look at all that. Better yet. I just realized something. One thing. Now, problem is, I found out later that I have no mesquite. And that I also have no money to get mesquite. So, that's why I put a little extra liquid smoke in it. Because I kind of figured I had this feeling that I was going to be missing something. Um, what I'm also probably going to do, usually what I do is I spread it around a little bit. And then I put the mesquite on there. I'm probably going to check the house and see if I have any more. But it's most like No. No, I don't have any more. Because it was in the same... It would be in that spot. And it's not there. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little more charcoal on here. So that way it can stay hot. But, um... Oh, yeah. The smell, babe. The smell. The smell. So, I'm back. Uh, sorry for the delay. So I put a little more charcoal on there. So that way, if I need to spread it around more, I can. So I'm going to put them on the outside. And, uh... And usually what I do is I try to put some juice on it. And then just put it like so hear that oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh <laughs> oh if you could smell this the smell oh the smell <laughs> it's so good now see how I got that corner in there now it's all dripping dripping goodness yeah I'm gonna be absolutely ridiculous about this juice Making it juicy. Yeah, these are some really big McFatty fat pieces. So, this meaty meatness of num nums is gonna be delicious. So, yes. Oh. Hold on. And I'm back with more cooking with Miss Biz. It's gonna be delicious. Ah! I'm sorry, my camera angles are sucking right now because I am too busy trying to focus on not wanting to like just suck up all this juice. Look, look at it. Look at it. That is just oh. Y'all ever decide to come to Illinois? I'll bring the food. I will cook it. And I have no problem with that. None. I will cook the food. And you will eat the food. But I'm not doing dishes. I refuse. I cooked all the food. Because now we're dealing in spices. And some of the spices that I use are highly expensive. I don't use, you know, cheap stuff like... Um, this time, like usually what I'll put in my, uh, beef, especially with my ribs when it's soaking, is I'll put a little bit of saffron in there. Because saffron, you don't need a whole lot, because it can be really overpowering. But, uh, otherwise, yeah. Alright. Now, most people... Most people know what happens next. When it comes to the juice, 
what, what you do? What do you do? You know what to do. Oh, you know what to do. Oh, oh look at that. Look at that. Oh, oh, look at that. Look at all that. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Now, we gonna get the rest of this on here. Now, it's on. Look at all that. This is what my ribs look like after a couple of days and doing stuff like that. So, now I have a thermometer on mine have this little thing open just a bit but my thermometer is probably going to get next to like like up in this piece so about 450 to 500 Fahrenheit um, you don't have to watch it too closely when it's first heating up but, but but look at that look 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 at that smoke it's it's light but it will certainly become more oh oh and it smells so good oh don't be jealous just i have i have the i have the other video of make me making like my ribs and just the preparation so go ahead and do that and you'll be fine why are you not focus focus have some focus fun. Thank you. All right, so. Um, I look like a hot mess right now. Mm. Yeah, I look like a hot mess right now. But um, it's because I'm hungry and I haven't had any type of coffee or no vitamins, nothing. So I'm just like a struggle right now. But, you know, later I might make this into a sandwich. Yes. A rib country style beef rib sandwich I might show you that but um I'm most likely gonna go it looks like it's so beautiful outside today um, it's so warm and so nice but um I'm going to probably make that risotto today so that way I can it can go with the ribs um I always put the ribs on the outside because it has the ability to cook a little slower because it's not directly on the coals. Now there might be parts that are closer to the middle, which will be directly on the coals. You know, that'll make it warm. But it's steady rising. Heat rising. Yeah. Look at it go. That's boring. But um, I'll let you guys go. And I know my hair looks like a hot mess, but I've been cleaning my house all day. So um, all day, all night. So I finally got a decent amount of sleep and I'm going to go ahead and start working on my risotto and show you how I do it. Okay? This is Elizabeth, a.k.a. Ms. Biz, signing off. Deuces!